hi friends welcome to my channel in this video let's see how we can print this number pattern okay it should initially understand how many rows exist in this pattern if you want to print this pattern first know the rows like 1 2 3 4 5 we want to print 5 rows so initialize variable some variable int rows equals 5 okay now I want to take another variable so that each time a number is getting printed it should be incremented see in the first case number 1 is printed next 2 3 4 5 6 so each case a number is getting printed it should be incremented so to do that just consider one variable int value equals 1 ok consider this variable now to print this pattern we need to use a for loop that is int i equals 1 i lesser than equal to rows i plus plus ok we need to consider this for loop ok then inside this for loop i want to print the numbers one by one this for loop is for rows the number of rows 1 2 3 4 5 rows i want to print for that i am using from starting from 1 starting from 1 I am using this for loop for rows. Another loop inside this loop I need to initialize with j equals 1 j lesser than equals to i j plus plus. So this loop this loop is used for printing the numbers. This loop is used for printing the numbers. So inside this loop what I need to do I need to print the values. So first first value I want to print is 1. So already we have initialized value uh, variable value with 1 so what i need to do i need to use system dot out dot print of that value that is value okay now if you observe here after printing this number value next number it should be incremented and each number the value is getting incremented 1 then 2 3 4 5 6 so each number whenever it is getting printed is getting incremented so what I need to do I need to increment this value each time this loop executes so what I need to do I need to increment this value each time this loop gets executed ok so let us see this in detail see what will happen in the first iteration i equals 1 i lesser than or equals to rows what is the value of rows 5 i lesser than or equals to 5 yes condition is true so it comes inside then j equals 1 j lesser than or equals to i j lesser than or equals to i means 1 lesser than or equals to 1 yes condition is true so the value will get printed what is the value the value variable uh, variable value is 1 so 1 will get printed in the first row ok 1 is getting printed next j value will become 2 because j plus plus 2 lesser than equals to 1 no this condition is false since this condition is false it will come out of this loop it will come out of this loop and once it come out of this loop I want to go to the next line to print next number say in this first row I have only one number in the second row I, I need to print 2 so that is next line so I need to write a statement system dot out dot println once we come out of this loop I need to execute this statement once you execute this statement what will happen it will go to the next line after coming out of this loop it will go to the next line ok so next line now what will happen it will come here so int i i value should be incremented ok so i will become 2 2 lesser than or equals to 5 yes condition is true so it will come inside then j value is 1 1 lesser than or equals to 2 yes it is true so the value will get printed what is the value now the value now it is 2 why because inside this loop what I am doing value plus plus when I am printing a number when I am printing 1 I am incrementing the variable value as plus plus so it will become 2 in the second iteration what will happen value plus plus so the value will become 2 2 will be printed ok then what will happen j equals 2 
2 lesser than or equals to 2 yes condition is true system dot out dot print n of value now again val what is the value now it is 3 because value plus plus first iteration it was 1 then it came out of the loop then in the second iteration when i became 2 this is also 2 okay value plus plus because once this gets executed successfully value will be incremented so it is printing 3 next j equals 3 3 lesser than or equals to 2 no the condition is false 3 lesser than or equals to 2 is false hence it will come out of this loop and it will go to the next line once printing 1 then 2 3 then it is going to the next line once it is go to the, going to the next line just let's write and execute this so that you can understand more clearly iteration 3 in iteration 3 what will happen i value will be initially what was i value it was 1 then 2 now it is 3 i equals 3 i lesser than or equals to rows what is the value of rows 5 i lesser than or equals to 5 i lesser than or equals to 5 is true right so it will go to inside loop inside loop int j equals 1 j lesser than or equals to 3 this is also true so it will execute inside this for loop what is what are the statements inside this for loop we are going to print the value what is the value now previously it was 3 right in the previous iteration second iteration value of variable value was 3 right now in third iteration what will happen because it's incremented third iteration value is got, got incremented so it will print 4 okay it will print 4 now again for loop uh, j this loop will again get executed so now j equals to 2 lesser than or equals to what is the value of i in the third iteration value of i is 3 right so 2 lesser than or equals to 3 condition is true so it will print again the value that is value will become 5 so 4 and then 5 got printed next j value will become 3 3 lesser than or equals to 3 condition is true so the value now again got incremented so it will get print 6 6 will get printed next j will become 4 4 lesser than or equals to 3 4 lesser than or equals to 3 condition is false so it will come out of this loop and system dot out dot print line, it will go to the next line so it printed 4 5 6 in the third iteration then it went to the next line so this way it will continue so how many rows we have taken int rows equals 5 in this case number pattern we have taken 5 rows how many rows you take based on that each iteration it will get executed okay this is the logic behind this number pattern now let's quickly switch to eclipse and let's execute this program and let's see how this will get printed okay let's switch to eclipse we have this java project already created patterns inside this src folder and inside number patterns package let me create one new class okay it is number pattern 4 okay public static void main first i need to consider number of rows that is int rows equals i want to print 5 rows okay int rows equals 5 then i need to consider one variable that is int value equals 1 starting from 1 i am initializing this variable so that each time a number gets printed this will get incremented okay so for that i am using this variable for int i equals 1 i lesser than equals to rows i plus plus okay i am considering this for loop for rows okay each time number gets printed based on this for loop and another for loop inside this for loop i am using that is nested for loop j equals 1 j lesser than equals to i j plus plus this loop is used for printing the numbers so inside this loop what i need to do i need to print the value starting from 1 right see here i need to start from 1 then i need to go till 15 right so starting from 1 
how we will get the one value because we have taken already variable value equals one we can use this so we can write system dot out dot print ln sorry system dot out dot print of value okay with some space now each time this value should be incremented according to this pattern if you want to print this pattern each time number gets printed value also should be incremented so what i am doing i need to write value plus plus okay once you come out of this loop i need to go to the next line so i am using system dot out dot print ln what is the difference between system dot out dot print and system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print is used to only printing the value whatever the value we are passing here for this statement it will print but ln if you are using print ln then it will go to the next line that is use of print ln okay so if we execute this program now so you can see the output required output 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 five rows are getting printed with each number getting incremented each time it is getting printed right this is how we are using for loop that is nested for loop for printing the number pattern okay thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos thank you so much bye take care